<laughs> What's up everybody? So I know it's been a little while since I've made a video. I took a little break for the holiday season, decided to hang out with the family and all of that. But now that we're starting off the new year, I got to get into everything that's being said. We have the FTC and Microsoft going head to head with Sony basically hiding behind the FTC just so they can stay competitive in the console race. And we also have rumors about Fable and all of them restarting production and development of the game. There's a lot of rumors being circulated and I want to get into all of them because let's be real. For the last three weeks, there's been a lot of stuff about Xbox and I want to get into the biggest ones, which is the FTC and of course, fable so let's get into it all right so you know the drill if you like the content hit that subscribe button and that like button and if you want to be notified on future videos hit that small little bell icon and if you want to go that extra mile to support the channel hit that join button all the support is greatly appreciated all right so i just want to get into probably the most important thing which is that the ftc is blocking or trying to block this activision blizzard xbox deal and i know i know this is something that's been talked about all year and a lot of people have a bunch of videos about it but i didn't really make a video about them blocking this and i didn't go into detail about microsoft's response to sony and the ftc about them suing them for this merger so let's get into what is said in the article microsoft says ftc blocking the activision blizzard deal is a vital violation of the Constitution. Microsoft has issued its official response to the FTC lawsuit seeking to block its $69 billion merger with Activision. The response, which can be read courtesy of Game Informer here, reiterates many arguments that Microsoft has already made in public, such as Xbox having a much smaller overall share of the Xbox game market than both Nintendo and Sony, almost nothing in the mobile gaming market, and also promises to keep Call of Duty on rival platforms. Microsoft has even promised to bring Call of Duty to entirely new platforms, which, if you remember, is the Switch. However, Microsoft's official legal response to the case also makes several new arguments, saying that the lawsuit itself is unconstitutional. Check out page 34 of the answer in defense document to see what Microsoft lawyers have cooked up. Now, we all know that this is one of the weirdest things that's happened. At first, there was reports before they were being sued that they didn't have a leg to stand on and that the FTC wasn't really going to sue. And then they referenced stuff from the European courts about Bethesda. And then the European courts debugged what they said. And it's just been a massive mess. And to be honest with you, a lot of the people at the FTC have said that they will sue on things, even if they know they're going to lose, to set a precedence of what's going to happen for future tech companies that want to buy into a lot of things and don't get me wrong i think what they're doing is a little weird especially when you look at xbox and the ftc and you look at everything that's happening with activision blizzard in the mobile space and even the pc space microsoft doesn't have that big of a reach when it comes to gaming do they own a lot of ips yes there are a lot of self-made ips that they publish themselves and do they own a lot of studios yeah they own a lot of studios, and if they do get Activision Blizzard, they're going to have even more, up to 34 to 40 studios that are going to be making AAA games. But the problem with Xbox is, is that they need to expand where they're going. It's all about growth when it comes to Xbox. So of course, like I've said multiple times, the Activision Blizzard deal doesn't affect just the console. It affects PC and mobile, and that's what the FTC is worried about. They're worried about enforcing these antitrust laws because they feel that Microsoft, which by the way is a a second offender being sued by the FTC is going to start going into the monopoly territory and it's kind of funny talking about this and it's kind of funny talking about people saying that Microsoft is going to be a monopoly when all you hear about this entire year is that Xbox has no games how are you going to be a monopoly when you're not releasing games it's going to be this year 2023 that's going to change that perspective because they do have a bunch of games that should and I say should be releasing at the beginning of 2023 or in the next five to six months. I'm talking Redfall, Starfield, and of course, Forza Motorsport. And if you look at everything else like Minecraft Legends, those games are supposed to release. And on top of that, if you look at January and February, they have Atomic Heart and Monster Hunter World releasing on Game Pass. They have a lot of third-party games that they have signed that are going to be exclusive to Game Pass, a lot of first-party games that are going to come out, and at the end of the year, they might have some surprises that we don't know about. It's all about this year for Microsoft. It's all about what they're going to do with their growth and what they're going to do with their games, and on top of it, what they're going to do with Activision Blizzard, because that is going to be the talk of the town. It's going to be the talk of what's happening in gaming until this lawsuit is over now personally 
I'm a little annoyed that they sued because of one thing. It's not because Xbox isn't getting these studios. It's not because of this. It's not because of that. It's because it's going to drag out this topic for so long. I see people making videos constantly about this. I see people talking about this on podcasts constantly. At some point, you get a little bit tired of it. And I am one of those people. I want to start talking about these games that are coming out. I want to start talking about all of this stuff that's happening. Because you know what? The games that are releasing this year are huge. And I get why people were talking about the FTC and Activision Blizzard. It's the biggest thing going on in gaming right now. But also, there wasn't that many games releasing last year. There wasn't that much that's come out that's really taking the world by storm outside of Elden Ring. And when you look at last year, it was kind of an abysmal year when it comes to gaming. Did I have a lot of fun with the games I played? Of course I did. But for the last two months I've been playing nothing but Apex Legends and Fortnite like crazy because every other game just hasn't really grabbed me. God of War was great. I am enjoying it. I'm about 17-18 hours in but I'm moving along into these other games because I'm looking forward to just the games coming out in 2023. Which brings me to the other topic that I want to talk about. Let's move away from this FTC stuff. Let's move away from Microsoft talking about all of this stuff about Activision Blizzard. Let's talk about one of the biggest games which is Fable. You know, Fable, the new one that's going to get restarted, rebooted, or whatever you want to call it, that was announced all the way back in 2020 at Xbox's event over the summer that happened during the pandemic. Well, it's looking like Fable has a lot of rumors surrounding it. Now, a lot of these rumors are probably debunked, and a lot of these rumors are going out there, but I need to talk about them because a lot of people DM'd me about this, and we're going crazy. Here's what's said. Rumor that Fable 4 was restarted internally is debunked. Following rumors that Fable 4's current build was scrapped and restarted from the ground up in the Unreal Game Development Engine, journalist Jez Corden debunked the claims on Twitter. Corden tweeted, Hard confirmed that this is total lies. In response to the tweet containing the rumors, head of gaming industry.biz Christopher Dring also claimed to say the claims aren't true. The original tweet created by Idle Sloth has now been deleted, but a screenshot with the original information is included below. Idle Sloth sourced the rumors from 4chan, which claimed that Fable 4's current build was deemed unplayable by most of the team and Fable 4's Forza Tech version will never see the light of day. All right, so I got to get into this because I feel like Fable's kind of been on the forefront of the news and not in a good way. We hear a lot of rumors that Microsoft forced this developer to use Forza Tech to make the new Fable RPG and that, you know, making this game on a engine that was built for racing games might not be the best idea, especially when you look that you need animations, you need combat systems, you need a bunch of stuff that RPG games need to develop. So why did Playground Games, aka the people that make Forza Horizon 5 and 4 and all those games at the Forza Tech, why did they take that development kit and that software and move over to make it into a Fable game which has a lot more animations and RPG elements? Well, it's because they're used to it. A lot of the people in Playground Games has used that tech for a long time, they've mastered it, and they made it into a big open world with Forza Horizon 5. Yet, I don't know if that's the smart thing to do. I don't know why they even force them, if that's the true rumor that's going around, to use this software. Because let's be real, this game engine is built for racers. It has been fine-tuned by Turn 10 for racers. It has been fine-tuned by Forza Horizon 5 developers Playground Games who are making Fable for racers. So I don't know, maybe it is a little bit easier to maybe move things over since you know the systems and you can manipulate them any way you want. But overall, this game has been in development for at least five years already. You have to remember, the developers started creating this studio at the end of 2017 before they were even part of Xbox. And then six to seven months later, they were bought by Xbox and they turned into a first party studio. And since 2018, they've been in development making this new fable, which makes me think, why is it taking six years for us to even see this all we've had is a cgi trailer from 2020 which is being on repeat right here on my video that's all we've seen from them and i need to see more and if i don't see anything about this game this year or early next year i'm gonna think that there's something going on in the back end because this game is not being ready to show in front of the public eye or on e3 show for that long we're at six years almost at development cycle that's insane to think about for a game that should be coming out God of War 2018 took five to six years to make, and I'm talking about from making, starting the game, and then releasing it. 
You look at all these games, even Forza Horizon took several years, but they brought it out within four to five years. Same with Ghost of Tsushima, same with a bunch of other games. I mean, look at the Coalition. They brought out Gears 4 in three years, and then Gears 5 three years later. It's insane how much you can get out of the development team when they're comfortable with the software they're working with, which makes me think that this Forza team is struggling to get this game up and running. And if the game was just being shown or the game was talked about, these rumors wouldn't be happening. And to be honest, a lot of these rumors from Xbox are just happening because they haven't released any games all year last year except for Pentiment and Grounded. Once they start dropping games, all these rumors are going to kind of fall to the wayside. But right now, Xbox is going to have to weather the storm. And we know there's an event coming up soon. And I'm going to be talking about that later this week in another video because I want to talk about that Xbox event. But overall, I think Playground Games needs to come out. I think Xbox needs to come out. And they need to start talking about Fable. Because you don't just drop Fable in 2020 of the summer and then not talk about it for three years and show nothing about it for three years. Because people are going to start asking questions and think that it's in some development trouble. But overall, I'm looking forward to it. And that's pretty much everything in the video. Yeah, the FTC is going crazy. Yeah, Microsoft's going crazy. Activision Blizzard are going back and forth with Sony and the FTC. Everything's going crazy right now. But I'm so excited for this year. I think 2023 is going to be a better overall gaming year. I think Ubisoft is going to actually drop something. I think Xbox is going to start dropping their games. And of course, we have EA and all these other publishers that are going to bring out games. I'm excited. This is an exciting year of gaming, and there's a lot coming out. So let's get into all of that. Let's get into your questions. What do you think about this whole Activision Blizzard deal with the FTC? Do you think that it's going to get blocked? Do you think this is going to drag out for several years? Or do you think we're going to have this deal be done by end of year? Or can they go to mediation and hash out something that can have this not be sued and go to the courts? And what do you think about Fable? Do you think that there is development trouble there? Do you think we haven't seen the game in a while and that's why there's development trouble? Or do you think we're going to see it at E3 this year and they're going to get an announcement for a release date at the end of this year or at the end of 2024? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button to support us out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I've been playing nothing but Fortnite and Apex Legends. I mentioned that earlier in the video, and I have to say that I'm enjoying Fortnite a lot. I have like 15, 16 crown wins. I'm just having a good time with the game. I'm loving the skins. I'm loving the combat. I'm loving the map. I'm loving the battle pass. Everything about it is just a lot of fun. And I've been jumping into Apex Legends a lot playing ranked with my buddies. And I have to say that battle pass is awesome too. I've been in this multiplayer kick. I like facing other people. I'm enjoying the BR scene right now. And I'm sure I'll jump into other things and jump into other games once they release like Dead Space. And of course the Hogwarts game that comes out next month. But overall, I'm just enjoying gaming as a whole, especially on the multiplayer side with Fortnite and Apex Legends. And that's all I really played during the break when I had the holiday break for Christmas and New Year's. Speaking of which, I hope everybody had a great New Year's. I hope everybody had a great holiday season. And please let me know down below what games you played and what you were doing because that's what we're here for. It's to talk games. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.